Ah, yes, another green-red deck. Probably aggro. Or maybe Stompy, right? Nope. What we have here is a bona fide green-red combo deck, not even a single creature card in the list. The key card in the deck is Rampage of the Clans. We have four of the four mana instant, and it turns artifacts and enchantments into three three centaurs. The plan of the deck, and it's very much an all-in plan, is to flood the board with a bunch of small artifacts and enchantments, and then pick a good end step to turn them all into centaurs and kill your opponent on your next swing. To that end, nearly all of our other cards are smaller enchantments or artifacts that have some small effect and usually help us draw more of the same. The one exception is four escaped the wilds, and that's in there to help us reload our hands, keep up on our land drops, and find the pieces we need. Alright, now for the bits. Three Gruul Signets ramp us a bit, but mostly function as fixing, along with three Abundant Grows, three Terrarion, four Guild Globes, two Prophetic Prisms, four Weirding Woods, and four Golden Eggs. While those also draw us cards in one way or another, those are also our red sources. No lands in the deck make red mana. The only lands other than forests are four gingerbread cabins. The food they make can either buy us time or become more centaurs. Three Icar Wellsprings keep us churning through our deck, as does the single magnifying glass, which can also just pump out a continual string of excess clues which will eventually transform into hooved death for our opponents. Two servo schematics round out the deck, providing two artifacts and one card and giving us some chump blockers to buy us time if we need it. So technically, this is another green-red deck that just wants to run its opponents over with a flood of creatures. With Genesis Rampage, you just get to do it in style.